Okay guys, another quick update for Bitcoin. It looks like we've got a lot of downside incoming. I'm going to cover all of this in detail. If you like these quick updates, uh, leave a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Remember you can access all these live charts on the website, pin and first comment description. Use my Bitget Fill link. That's also pin and first comment description as well. So listen, uh, right off the bat, again, 22,876 is a key support level. It looks like that is going to turn into resistance. This is bad. This means we could be headed down to 20,600. I will cover all of this and show you key support and resistance levels to pay attention to. Now, as you saw in the thumbnail, uh, taking money from the exchanges, giving it back to the people. You're probably thinking, what are you talking about, Willis? Well, let me explain. So if you would have just watched the previous video, I'll put a link up to it now. I told you right at the beginning of the video, as long as we're below 23,555 around that area to remain short. We dropped from that point. As you can see, we came down from this point. This was your key resistance level to watch. In that very same video, I gave you an export level in A1 chart around 22,759. We came down to that target and we found support. We hit it twice. On top of that, I also gave you access to a free chart, uh, and I'll, I'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, this was this was the chart I created. I made a video where I showed you how to get it into the BitGate Exchange. So this chart's been killing it. This chart, A1 BG chart, nailed the top right here at 23,627. And then I told everyone, I said, this is where you want to chance along, right here at the support level at 22,770. And you can see what happened. We pushed up from this point, and then I gave the next point. I said, right here. Next resistance to watch if you want a chance to scalp short right at this line. This line was previously support or support and resistance, support. So this would be the point too short. And you can see how this played out. We got rejected. This is one hell of a short. So think about this. You could have paid $49 to get access to the charts, Discord, and Twitter. And you could have 10x or 50x that just with these two calls. We dropped from this point and found perfect support here. So guys, do not forget, I gave you access to this very same chart. Notice we got rejected here, we came down, we found support, we got rejected where I told you to short, and we found support here. So you, your key support level right now on this chart is 22,740. This is the published version of this chart. Published this on August 2nd uh, before I gave you guys access. Look how this played out. Notice we pushed up, got rejected, came down, found support on this red line, pushed up. This is where I said put in a short, we got rejected, and we found support. This is the video where I showed you how, or this is the actual chart that I um, recreated in the BitGet Exchange. See this exact same chart. This is the video, guys. This is the video where I showed you how to get this chart into BitGet. So you can create this chart for yourself and see how accurate it was and still is. I'll put a link to this video now if you want to check it out. Remember, if you want to use my BitGet affiliate link, that's pinned in the first comment description. Create an account and then follow along with this video and recreate the chart and you can see how accurate it is. We've been playing it and killing it. So let me give you a key support to pay attention to. So currently you can see we're breaking support right now on the G1 chart. Uh, this this has been support for a while and we just broke it. That is bearish. So I'm going to change this to red because we are coming down. So if this becomes resistance, this is bearish down too. Your next support level to watch is right here at 22,200. And again, so your resistance is going to be around 22,894. Uh, this is the Q1 chart. This chart has been nailing support as well. So your current support to watch is 22,748. If that breaks, your next support level below is right down here around 22,395. So it looks like we got a lot of support around 22,000 area. If we push up, we've got a lot of resistance. You've got this line right here, and you've got this line right here. So that is double resistance. So if we push up 22,200, it's going to be very strong resistance. This is the M1 chart, and again, like I said, so this is now resistance. It looks like we're breaking down from this uh, rising wedge. It could be rising wedge. Either way, the most important thing is, is this line, this red line right here. If this is now going to be resistance, your next target is around 20,600. That would be where I'd go in for a scalp long. I do think once we get to this point, we have a lot more downside but we're teetering on the support level right now. It's currently resistance. Remember, if by some miracle or something happens and we get one hell of a pump, as I said in the previous video, 25,100 to 24,679 would be a point too short. That, that, would be, that would be the ideal point too short. Every time we hit this white line previously, we've got rejected. I see that less likely happening, but I wanna make sure you have your upside targets. I do think it's more likely we are headed down to this target below. As I mentioned before about the VIX guys, so if, if you watched the last video, I mentioned that this this uh, trend line right here was resistance for the VIX. Remember, the VIX is the volatility, volatility index for the S&P. So I said it was likely we would get rejected, possibly, 
at this point, if that happened, it'd be somewhat bullish for the markets, right? As long as this is down and going sideways, that would be bullish. We're coming down to test the support level again, as I've showed you. When we find support with the VIX, that is a peak for the S&P. Find support at the VIX, that's a peak for the S&P. Support at the VIX, that's a peak for the S&P. So if today you start seeing this VIX push up and get above this resistance and push higher, that means the S&P is coming down. Remember, Bitcoin follows indices. Uh, the indices down, Bitcoin down. Indices up, Bitcoin up. The DXY, guys. So the DXY had a nice uh, push up. I told you that this was our support. Uh, we, we almost came down to it, but we got close to it and pushed up. So currently, we're teetering right now. So if the DXY continues up, your current support is 106. If the DXY continues up, that is bearish for Bitcoin. Your next resistance around 107.27. If you start seeing the DXY come down to support again, that would be bullish for Bitcoin. Remember, you can access all these live charts on the website, pinned in the first comment in the description. Uh, for $49 a month, you get access to the Bitcoin charts, Discord, and Twitter. Guys, that's it. Just pay attention. Uh, this chart right here, since we broke the support level and the, uh, where is this chart right here? The M1 chart. Because if if this breaks, guys, if we need to watch this very closely, if 22,876 becomes resistance, Again, your target to the downside is around 20,608. But that's it, guys. Trade safe, trade smart. I'm out.